Okay, so in this video, uh, we'll understand how uh, on most over works uh, in the fire event method. Or uh, we, we also understand how we can take the mouse onto a particular object. Okay, so mouse over onto a particular object. Okay, so uh, to take the mouse onto a particular object, let's say here I've uh, taken the example as this menu bar. And you can see here, whenever I take the mouse onto a particular link, uh, the sub menu gets opened here. So when I take a discipline or recruitment or the time or anything, so I, I, you should not click on it. It just you have to take the mouse onto a particular object. Okay. So if you want to take the mouse onto a particular object, UFT has got a method called a fire event, uh, and uh, the input is on mouse over for the fire event method. Okay. So now the I have added the object to the repository already, uh, so that uh, you know I don't need to add again. So I have added the link called discipline here. The discipline is nothing but, okay, so this is the link. So now the the focus is on more and it has to take the mouse on over to the discipline link. So that's what we need now. Okay, so what I do here is, uh, uh, since I have added the object to the repository, I just write this code like this, say browser dot page dot so on so link whatever it is it's a discipline link dot you have a method called fire event see the fire event method is not only for taking the mouse onto a particular object so the fire event is used to execute a lot of events usually defined by the html again like on click or on focus or uh, on double click or on mouse over so all these are an HTML events actually. So to perform or to execute those HTML events, normally we use this fire event, okay? So one of the event is on mouse over. So this event is to what should happen in case if the mouse over onto a particular object. So th this event is defined by the HTML normally. Now, so you, you say fire event on mouse over. So this event should get executed. Now, when I run the script, and when you run it, so it's it's got executed, but if you see, the it's focused on discipline here, right? Okay, so le let me take into uh, the other way. Now, you just say here, now it, the uh, discipline link is not selected here, right? So let me run it again, and if you run it, and let's see whether it works or not. Yeah, you can see now the link is uh, the, the focus is on uh, discipline here. You can see the sub menu has been opened for uh, discipline. So if you want to take mouse onto a particular object, you can say uh, so and so object. I just I, I'm I'm just uh, you know uh, using a link discipline here, but doesn't mean that you have to use only link and you can use any other object whatever that you want or on any object wherever you want to take the mouse on move Okay, so to, to see it on a better result, see, the, the you know, we are not able to see it directly because uh, the application is hiding behind the tool. So it's always better that you bring the application to the front and then execute this. So how do you bring the application to the front? Then we use the object called WSH here, create object, wscript.shell, and owsh.appactivate, and you can say you need to give the name of the browser and the name of the browser is rnghrm then you say rnghrm now let me run the code again it brings the application to the front okay so but again it's a uh, in it and uh, let me use this after bringing to activate then you say wait of three and uh, it just run it yeah so okay it's hiding yeah that's okay so it's hiding okay that's fine so you can see that object is coming out of this this is one way of getting up you know on mouse over to a particular object but again there is another way also you know uh, to do that okay so the other way is uh, like this okay now Instead of using fire event, we have another object called mercury.device replay. Okay, 
so we have an object called mercury let's say here create object of mercury dot device replay so you you have a lot of methods for device replay and usually this method this object mercury dot device replay is used to perform the mouse operations or keyboard operations by using the coordinates okay so you you have a lot of methods available here you say key down or key up or mouse click mouse double click or mouse down mouse move or a lot of things so ideally i mean the, the, usually these methods will be performed based on the coordinates okay so now if you want to take the mouse onto a, this particular object okay so the display you can do this way now first okay so again as i told this is mostly by the coordinates right so uh, first you need to understand what are the coordinates for this particular application sorry this particular object so this discipline so how do you get the properties uh, sorry how do you get the coordinates of that particular object i'm just using objects by here to understand what properties help us now take this link now you can see this link here you have something called absx and you have something called absy here and also you have the properties called x and y if you come down here okay but you need to take absx and absy the reason because the absx and absy will take the desktop coordinates whereas x and y will be taken uh, i mean x and y uh, will uh, give the application coordinates where that object is located within those application coordinates so mercury device replay works based on the desktop coordinates so that you should take absx and absy for this particular object then you say like this x equal to browser dot page dot link dot get arrow property of absx and y equal to browser dot page dot link dot get arrow property of absy okay now so in, in, we got x and y coordinate here so after that you say mercury device replay object dot you have something called mouse move here then you say x and y that whatever you have got that means that okay move the mouse onto this particular x and y so this and x this x y coordinate will give or this x and y is nothing but the coordinates of this particular link right so now let me run the code you can see that the mouse has gone there right okay so you can see here so let me rerun again just wait because it's throwing the error because uh, you know the application is not in focus uh, some application is not coming onto the focus uh, let me rerun again yeah so application is in focus now and you can see the mouse has gone there so th this is how you can bring the mouse onto a particular object but here i've taken the example as link discipline in the menu but you can take any link or any object whatever it is uh, you know depends on on which object you need to uh, take the mouse over okay so this is how the on mouse over works and this is how mercury device replay can be used to bring on the mouse onto a particular object thank you